Yo, what's up? It's Fist. I don't know how loud this thing is. Sorry if I'm being loud or whatever. Don't give a shit. But uh, my fucking uh, PC is down. So um, I want to talk about a blog. Uh, as you may know or whatever, David Vodhar did a, a update video for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Like anybody cares. But, you know, I want to put my two cents in on it because I think people need to know, like, you know, I don't even I don't even think it matters to read, be honest with you. But just, you know, I'm just going to put my two cents on it because that's all it's really worth to me anymore. I used to be addicted to Call of Duty. You know, I mean, not addicted, but I used to love playing that game. It was exciting to me. I guess you could say it's an addiction. It was an addiction. It was, you know, I wanted it. It was, it, it drawed me and I wanted to play it. But when I see stuff like this and, you know, it's just, it's fucking stupid. So David Von Hari, he's doing these videos on his Treyarch channel, and you can go search it yourself. And the funniest thing to me is that when we're talking about game balancing issues, um, supposedly in Call of Duty, there's this thing called the black box. It was never really shown to anybody, none, none of the math, none of the uh, how it works or whatever. It's just a fucking made up word. You know, for all we know, it's, it's just bullshit you know, what it comes down to, and nobody really knows what it, what it is, you know, it, it's, his definition of the black box is based on how many people play the game, and, you know, f to, to be honest with you, it's a fucking subjective interpretation of schematics of data that is interpreted the way the fuck you want to be interpreted, it doesn't really matter, you know, it's, it's, event, you know, the bottom line is, you know, David Von Der has a last say on whatever he wants to do to the fucking game, regardless of the data. And the fact that, you know, I am a Call of Duty fan that been following the game for a very long time, I could tell you this. Because um, last week or so, whenever it was, there's this MLG qualifier. And Optic... Uh, gaming crybabies crying about the cap 40s I mean if you if you ever watch their stream you always hear like one of them crying about the cap 40s yeah just get killed by the cap 40s the cap 40s the cap 40s so anyways they're in this MLG qualifying tournament thing this is for like a million hundred thousand dollars whatever a lot of money they didn't qualify they didn't get seated so as soon as they fucking lost they went to Twitter and fucking bombarded David Von Der Haar with, you know, oh, the cap, the cap 40 is overpowered. And I don't have the, I don't have the tweets from that. And I'm sure somebody screen capped all that shit. But David Von Der Haar said, the data does not support, the data does not support us changing those weapons. So here comes right before, right before, um, MLG tournament and optics not seated, so they got to fight through a bunch of fucking teams to even get. You know, you, it takes the top eight to get to the million dollars of COD, COD XP two, and they're not even seated, so they got to fight through a bunch of teams. And there's a bunch of fucking teams using secondary cap forties. It's in the fucking game. Period. That's what's in the game. You know, um, the point being is that if you the whole point of this is that if you want people to cross over and support uh, pro gaming and you make a game and then you whittle it down to fucking nothing and then this is the way that people play it, you know, you're basically taking away the English language or how the people see this game and then you're playing it this way. And then the majority of people who fucking support the game and keep it on its feet and pay the bills cannot relate to that anymore. So here you have Optic cried about it on Twitter. It did. It, it wasn't even proven in the data for the black the black box. So I find it quite uh, amusing that David Von Der Haar's relationship with a team outside of Activision and Treyarch that has nothing to do with the game at all uh, values that relationship more than anything else. And the only thing I can think of is the fact that, you know, 
um, you know, he's covering his own ass. Here he went up, he sold the shit out of this e-gaming whatever. He needs these people, these these pro gamers and these optic gamers to stay happy. So he's got to cover his own ass. So he's implementing stuff into them because these are the people that he sees in person. So that's he has to deal with that confrontation. And he's not too good with that. So the point being is that he made his video. And then the video, he's like, oh, he makes it a point to cover the cap 40s, which he had said previously in a Twitter three weeks ago. How does the data change amongst 20 million players that the cap 40s, which only have, what, 15 bullets in each pistol, they're terrible. You know, how do those get nerfed and not the B23R and the rest of the pistols? And you could run around with them and, and actually have good school, have positive kill death ratios and so on and so forth. How is it that, you know, that, that that's addressed over everything else? I mean, it's pretty simple. You know, he's protecting his relationship with pro gamers because those are the people that he has to see. And he copped out and he's going to ELG because he's scared of confrontation when he goes to MLG to deal with the people. So he changed it specifically for those people at the MLG event. And then once that's over, I'm sure they're going to praise him because they took that out. And I'm sure people have made videos about it that are pro players. And then when he comes back from Europe and he goes to Codex B, they'll be like, oh, you're the best, you're the best. And he avoids all that confrontation. Now, if it was the majority of people who pay the bills at Activision and Treyarch, who've been crying and screaming, and you know what? We don't care anymore. We're just going to leave. Go to a different game. It's coming. E3, new game. And you don't want to listen to us. You don't want to listen to the people who are paying the bills. That's fine. We'll be gone. And uh, we've been asking for shit. But he's not going to see us at any event. Because normal, casual people that ask for stuff, been asking for it nicely, are just, you know, they're done asking. They're just, it's the game's just worn off. And it's already too late to grow an eSports crowd. Because nobody's going to buy a game specifically to be played like that. It's not going to be supported. If that were the case, then you can make a spin-off sniper game where everybody can have overpowered snipers and kill each other. No, that's not going to happen. Not going to happen. So anyways, that, that's, you know, that's what's the most disgusting part about this whole thing that really pisses me off. You know, um, uh, you know, us, the majority of people out there just want normal shit done and we can't get it. We can never get nothing done in this game. It's always like, you know, outrageous stuff that's being changed and forced on everybody for a couple crybabies that he has a relationship with. And he's got to cover his own ass because he went, you know, he's already made the commitment to that uh, esports shit. It's, bo it's bullshit, but that's what's happening. Now, if supposedly if you have this black box in your game, I don't know how your data can change in three weeks for the Cat 40s, but the fucking sniper rifles that are out of control in this game, you have two automatic snipers, and people are like, oh, you, you, you're out of your mind, you don't think it's sniper right. The DSR is ridiculously overpowered with a laser sight. Then you reduce idle sway on the ballista, the only balanced sniper in the game in the beginning. Then you put the you put uh, idle sway, uh, reduce that on there. So now you got people running around with the scope and the laser on the ballista. So you got two automatic snipers, a terrible uh, overpowered B DSR. I mean, when you're using the automatic snipers, it's pretty simple. Once you track somebody, once they're in, caught in the vortex and you're shooting and you're like, bam, 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 they can't get out of that. There's no way of getting out of it. For one, the camera angles in this game do not match up. The math is incorrect. So you'll be running behind a corner and you're still out in the open. So if you're being tracked by a sniper with an automatic sniper, if you get hit once and one more hit anywhere else, toe, or it doesn't even matter, that's the power of the automatic sniper. If it doesn't matter where you hit somebody, the DSR can hit you anywhere and it's a one-hit kill. Then you get the automatic snipers. If they hit you in the shoulder and the foot, two hits anywhere, you're done. So if you can continuously spam the trigger, what does it matter? You're dead. So that totally disrupts the fabric of the game. Because the maps are built specifically, 
you know, to, to flow a certain way for SMG and assault players. So now when you add in these sniper players who run around and they go, well, I, you know, my kill death ratio is like 1.19. Well, yeah, because you run around like a, a fucking SMG player. Come on, dude. Are you fucking serious? So, anyways, I'm going to go on to the rest about the rest of these fixes in the game. Um, the MSMC reduced, and see, all this shit has been done right before MLG, which is kind of weird, don't you think? Re reduced recoil on the MSMC, uh, hip fire accuracy re has been reduced on the MSMC, PDW has been reduced, has, recoil has been increased, uh, PDW 57, uh, hip fire accuracy has slightly reduced. And then the cap 40s, I mean, you can look at this. I'll leave the link below. And then the uh, LMGs, medium range damage increased. You know why they are increasing the medium range damage on the LMGs? Because the maps are really small. So when you get into confrontations and you want to pull off from aiming down the sights and you can shoot off the hip, the damage will be really high at medium range. Um, the foul reduced the damage because the pro players crying about how strong this weapon is. The SMR with the select fire damage reduced when auto fire. Same bullshit. Type 25 move um, speed increase, which I don't even understand why that would be a point. I mean, is it something not right there? Tw type 25 medium range damage increased. Again, I mean, this is based on reason why. You know, they built the maps first without even thinking about the 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 uh, weapons. Because if you're increasing the damage on the assault rifles, that means in medium range, it means the maps are small and you're fighting. They want more damage up close. So if you're going to aim and then come off the hip, then you're going to, you know, you're going to kill that person. Scar long range damage increased, which should have been in the first place. And the 556 five, long range increase, which should have been in the first place. Uh, the M1216 medium range damage increase shotguns. I mean, why don't you just, you know, add a striker in there and what's the difference? I mean, you know, you give everything to the snipers. You get the snipers and they have the pistols and the sniper rifles. I mean, literally, they're, they are uh, tanks. But for some reason, the data is for the Cat 40 seems to uh, magically appear that needs to be changed, and you need to make it a point in your video. And the only reason why David Von Hart did that is because Optic cried to him on Twitter. You can go back and check that, or anybody who knows that can screen cap that and knows that I'm telling the truth right now. And then the Ballista idle, idle sway reduced. I mean, it's it, you know, the, the Ballista was fine the way it was. It didn't need to be fixed. And to add idle sway reduction only means that you're reducing the reticle cone with a laser sight and the um, scope. So now it's, you know, instead of somebody having skills with the iron sights to um, shoot long range, now they could just all point the dot at them, the red dot, and pull it, and you're dead. You know, it's, it, it's not fun when you make the game like this. You know, I mean, plenty, I mean, plenty of people have tried over and over again to make it a point. But that's not the agenda at Treyarch and Activision. It's not the agenda of Activision. It's the agenda of Treyarch and uh, David Vonderhaar selling this esports idea that was bamboozled into his brain by a select group of people who bought him a couple of drinks and maybe he lacked friendship in his life and therefore he's, you know, they, whatever. I don't really know what's going on there. But this esports thing is not going to work with Call of Duty. You know, it's it's just not going to when you're offering a million dollars when you can easily uh, grow it by communities. And I love how Avon says, oh, it's grown by 400%. 400%, oh, that's what a million dollars would do. What? It went from 1,000 uh, people playing leagues to 5,000. That's 400%. Wow. <laughs> awesome. Awesome news. Let's hear numbers. Let's hear the truth about it. So it's this big upsell to nothing, and it's really a huge cancer to killing the Call of Duty franchise when the majority of people have been asking for um, logical things to be fixed in the game, and it's not being done. So eventually, this franchise is going to die, and it's dying right now, 
and to throw money at it this way is just a, it's it's in bad taste. It should have been done socially. You know, you should have got groups of people. They could have spread that money out and and gave away a lot of bunch of little things and trying to give a lot of money to a select group of crybabies who play a certain way that nobody can relate to. And it's going to kill the game. You know, you you it's going to kill Call of Duty. So anyways, that's it. That's what the hot fixes are. You know, I uh, once I get my PC back, you'll you know I'm just gonna upload whatever until then. So just stand with me. Till next time, it's your boy Fist. Peace. I'm out.